make it spin hard to get out of bed. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And me and the Wrigley man. Hey, Wrigley, what are you doing over there? We just got back from Texas. We spent a week down there. I'm back in Iowa. And it's been cold, rainy, all day long. Pretty depressing. Kind of makes me wish I just uh, was down in Texas for a little longer. But um, back to real life it is. But anyway, I've been wanting to wash the truck all day. The rain finally quit. There's still some wet spots out here. I think the car wash should be open. So we're gonna wash the truck and we're gonna talk about things that I figured out what was wrong with my Raptor after I purchased it from the dealership. Let's see, let me let me think about how many things. These were things that I could have found but I didn't really find them at the time when I looked at the truck. And obviously the dealership, either A, they knew or A, they didn't care to tell me. And it was from an actual legitimate big dealership. But I bought it out of state, it is what it is. But I'm gonna show you guys what I changed on the truck and see if you guys can understand what it means. Okay. That is the new plate for the truck. The Wopter. If you guys can figure out what it means, drop it down in the comments. And no, it doesn't mean white Raptor. Truck is dirty though. We just got back though from Texas, like I said. We're gonna run it through the wash, even though it's still gonna get filthy. I gotta get some of this disgustingness off the truck. Yeah, let's head that way. Okay, I was a little concerned there for a second. The car wash is open because usually when it rains, these automatic car washes are closed. So, and I'm about to get roasted. Okay, it hasn't rained for like two to three hours. I washed the truck, parked it in its spot, gonna dry it, do its thing, and of course it starts raining. I just did a road trip down to Texas, and I'm in Iowa, so that was a solid almost 11 hour drive. It just, you know, I needed to get the road grime off of it. But if you guys notice, I switched back to a touch car wash. Everybody roasted me for using a touch one in a prior video, and I'm not gonna use it that often. So as of right now, the plan is I canceled the touchless, was gonna just wash the truck at home, but it's been still cold here in Iowa. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the touch for right now. And when it gets nice out, I'm going to wash the truck at home as much as possible. And then if I'm out and about, I'm gonna use the touch. It's just the way it is. I don't care what you say, you guys can roast me down in the comments. With the white vehicle, it's just not as bad. We're just gonna continue on using the brush one. I don't care, it aligns with my core values. I don't even know what that means. Anyways, we need to talk about the Raptor and I need to tell you guys all the things that's wrong with it after I purchased it. There's actually quite a few things that I did not notice upon finding it. We're gonna kick this off with the interior stuff. Problem number one resides on the passenger side. And no, it's not the dog. And it is hairy over here. It needs cleaned. I was gonna detail the truck, but it, now it stopped raining, of course. This switch right here is bad. It wasn't bad when I first purchased it, it was working. So it goes down, obviously. But it don't go up. You can just tell it doesn't have that uh, that click that, that it should. I think if you push hard, it just don't work won't work so I have to use the driver's side door switch to roll the window up for right now until I get that fixed and you can just tell these buttons they have that 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 feel but that switch did work when I first purchased the truck and I'm guessing a someone pulled back too hard on it or it just was going bad. But a switch can be had for like 30 bucks, but I have the warranty and the warranty will cover that. So that's one thing. You can see the truck kind of has a little pull to it and my red stripe is off center and we're going straight. And I knew that purchasing the truck, but the problem was I drove 
you know, three and a half hours to go buy this truck. So when I drove it, I was like, okay, alignment's probably just off a little bit. And this is the second Raptor that I drove where the alignment was off a little bit. Now, you're just like, you know, in my, I'm like, you know, I can't not buy the truck. I just drove this far. I think it was almost four hours for the alignment. And I, I had already talked the sales guy down. It's like, you know, I don't, what am I going to do? I guess act like I'm going to leave the dealership and just drive home without it. Problem is that I believe this could be a bigger problem, at least for this truck. I test drove it. Everything felt fine besides just this being off centered a little bit. And the problem with it is I have some issues with um, things in the front suspension and once we get to our next destination I'm gonna post up and show you guys what exactly is going on with the front end now keep in mind the noises that the front end makes I didn't hear it when I test drove it it didn't even do it for like two weeks until I went over this railroad track pretty fast that I acted like I was gonna get air on but I obviously didn't but ever since I went over that really fast I've now it could just be a coincidence, but I always hear this noise when I'm turning, and I believe it's ball joint related, um, something possibly with the tie rods. And I'll show you the noise because it's it's actually pretty loud. Like I said, this issue didn't pop up until two weeks after I purchased the truck, and I feel like it's just gotten worse over time. So I don't know if the dealership knew, but let's see if you can hear it from the inside of the truck. It just kind of varies. So I don't think it's going to do it right now, but it just does it every so often, and you just kind of hear a pop when turning and it, it's kind of like when your the suspensions flex turned so it leads me to believe it's something in the tie rods we'll see if i can get you guys a view underneath here so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do it it just does it when i'm driving sometimes or when i'm reversing backing up into a spot and we kind of have flex I'm pretty sure it's something with the ball joint. Like I said, I purchased that Ford warranty and the warranty covers all the suspension parts. I don't think it does the leaf springs, but I could be wrong. Front end related, it all should be covered. I just need to take it in. I just don't want to be without my truck. So outside of the window switch being broke, the front end needing something fixed, we have two things left that are wrong with my Raptor currently. And that would be issues with a couple of the lights. Let's go ahead and turn them on so we'll come around here headlight works marker light works all of these lights work works this marker light was out it's been out since I purchased it I should have turned the lights on just to check it but it was during the day I didn't really think to check that I was even able to drive the truck by myself so check your marker lights I think these are 60 bucks a piece when I did purchase the warranty, you can pay, I think it's not even an extra hundred bucks, but you can pay a little more to get the lighting covered. So this will be something that's covered under warranty. Come around to the other piece that is bad. And this is kind of a bigger deal. As you can see, that LED works up until about right here. What's weird is this has been intermittent because sometimes it, it, it doesn't work to like up here. But right now, it's just that piece. And you can see there's a condensation in there. So basically, this light needs replaced. It'll get fixed under warranty. Not the biggest deal. But if you don't have the warranty, these are very expensive. So I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to cover it. Like if I have to just pay the $100 deductible and they're going to cover everything that's wrong with the truck. Or if I have to do it for individual items. That, that I'm not sure of. But all everything else works. All the other lights work all my marker lights this tail light is fine so my plan is to maybe this week give my Ford dealership a call and uh, see what I got to do to get this thing fixed it'd be great if I could just do the hundred dollar deductible and they fix everything but I, I don't know how that's gonna work I will keep you guys posted what kind of pup cup did you get that's got peanut butter. Oh, my Lanta. Are there napkins in here? Sorry? Are there napkins by yeah, chance? Yeah, of course. I can grab you some. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Just a little rundown of issues that came about with the Raptor <clears throat> that, uh, that's that's wrong with it now did the dealership know any of this 
maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Um, I just have to believe it doesn't matter what dealership it is, they will do shady things and they will do whatever they can to um, not put a lot of money into a truck. Some dealerships are very transparent and they'll give you a full list of everything they fixed on it. So I did purchase that Ford ESP premium warranty that I was talking about earlier. I didn't purchase it from that dealership because it wasn't a Ford dealership that I purchased my truck from. You can purchase it online, you can purchase it at a Ford dealership near you, um, but there's multiple online Ford dealerships that you can purchase from. I purchased mine from Granger Ford, which actually happens to be a local dealership. Now, what you have to do is you have to get a used vehicle inspection, so I dropped my truck off at Granger Ford. I think it was like 150 bucks. They went through the truck and said, hey, the truck's fine. Now, keep in mind, they got the truck, the ball joint was bad, the tail lights were bad, the window switch was bad, and supposedly they did a used vehicle inspection and said my truck is perfect. So I purchased the warranty, so that means I get to get everything fixed under warranty with a $100 deductible. If you have any questions in regards to issues with the Raptor or even questions about the warranty, um, I kind of did a lot of research with warranties, so I'm kind of kind of up to date on that. That's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Never look that way at me. I swear she's fucking with my head.